going on guys? This is Gemini G7 again. Welcome back to my next video. I'm here in Louisiana and uh Ola, Ola, Louisiana. And um let me pick up my first solo load. I'm doing this solo I'm by myself on this one. So it's uh I've been picking up uh, I believe it's lumper wood again. But it's not be doing on my own, so we was there about 1.5 miles down the road. And um, so far I like it. I enjoy it, you know. I like it, I like the job. And uh I, and to be honest, I thought I wouldn't like the um flat pads, you know, like average like. I actually like it more than average. You know, it's up there like 85% you know I like that so it's cool and I get a good workout too as well and I get a sweat as well and I learn more about the flatbed and uh, the load itself you know what I'm gonna be hauling and all that uh, later on in the future uh, Jason will let me haul some coils in the future and uh, but the thing about those that uh, he thinks I'm not ready yet because uh, they're top heavy and they can flip your truck over, you know. So he says I'm not ready for that yet. So, I, which I understand, and I'm open to it when I, whenever he thinks I'm ready. So now I'm doing these now for now, and uh, get the hang of it, getting used to it, you know, appointment times and all that stuff. And uh, it's going good. It's going really good. There's a truck coming up my way right now. A whole bunch of trees. Those I'm afraid of. Uh, those kind of loads I'm really afraid of. They're, they're kind of top heavy and they're really easy to flip over a truck. You gotta know you gotta know what you're doing, you gotta know how to drive as well. Um, but other than that, it's not rocket science, you know, pretty much common sense. Well I like the job, I really do. And uh I wanna do more of it and learn more of it, for sure. So I'm like 0.9 away from the mill. Almost there. I hope you guys enjoy these videos though that I'm making out. I'm pushing pushing out for you guys. And um there are probably some more knowledge in the flatbed too that I'm gonna learn and be open to. And I can share that with you guys as well as I'm making these videos. 45 miles per hour, let's go. Man, and then we in Louisiana. There's a lot of highway, uh, roads and highways are sm uh, smooth and rocky and bumpy as crap, like crappy, crappy loads. And there's a lot of parts of Louisiana that, um, that change their miles per hour. You go from like 70 miles per hour to you go like 50 miles per hour. So like, what? You know, there's a lot of five ball here. There's a lot of cops. You know, that's, that's something you don't play around or joke around with. But I'm here in the middle now. Here's the middle on the right. I'm here now. Get ready to pull in the right right here. Here we go. Pulling in. Truck entrance. Let's make this right. Oh, also another thing about this is that when you're hauling flatbeds, you know how you do like drive vans and reaper loads? You can do a, 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 a U-turn quite easily, or sometimes a sharp U-turn, okay? Just your FYI, you do not want to do a U-turn like that on a flatbed because the two front axles on the flatbed are forward, you know, it's a good a good ways. Like this, trailer, like this truck right here, this trailer right here. You see uh, the two front axles on the front? Are forward so what happens if you do a sharp u-turn especially when you're on a load you can snap that axle that front axle on your trailer you don't want to do that okay so that's another thing you gotta watch out for and learn and um, uh, about that so just an FYI if you guys ever do flatbeds and think about joining the flatbed crew you can just uh, be aware of it Don't do U-turns. 
turn. You gotta turn wide. Nice, not like super, super wide, but wide, you know? A reasonable wide enough. That way, you don't eat up your tires and snap your axles on your front two of your axles in your flatbed. You don't want to do that. Anyways, uh, just show, show up here. So let me go in and uh, do my paperwork and um, tell me where to go. I'll catch you guys in a bit. I better pull my truck up into position and then load me quick. Watch this. They already load me fast. I'm telling you, man, it's like take like 10, 15 minutes to get load me. Don't take long. I have to move the wood over there. I have to move the wood. That's awesome. Oh, okay, so they're gonna do more of uh, a a pyramid shape. So gonna get my ticket. Kind of do like a kind of a pyramid shape, I think. So after they load me here, I get on the scale. So catch you guys in a bit. Okay, so now I'm getting scaled. Right about there. 74.8, 74.7, go from there. Let's
So I'll do this first, first one here, and now do the next one.
all done. I know I kind of screwed out of one. I can't reach to move it over, but it's okay. All set. Let's get going. What's going on guys? This is Gemini G7 again. Okay, well, I didn't record the part when I went and delivered the load after I got strapped. But um, on the way back from Louisiana, um, once I was in the state line of Texas, and I had an indicator on my Facebook live that, that KHOU 11 News, there was a huge, huge flood um, coming down either from the sewers or what, but it was a big bunch of water that came out of the ground, flooded homes, and it flooded the houses and homes and freeways, and it blocked all of 610 Northeast Loop. I had to take the Bell 8 all the way around to Missouri City to deliver that load. So I, I had to spend money just to get a little load, and then I can go home. But it was a struggle. Traffic was a was a pain in the butt. So I knew when I was getting ready to deliver this load, I'm gonna be hassling with doing all this stuff here. So that's why I didn't record all that. But I will add the links in the bottom of the video about the flood happened in here in Houston. Okay, and it'll be at the very bottom. Um, also, um, thank you for watching. Please hit that like, comment subscribe share and i also will add george navarro's youtube channel a trucker's life on the very bottom of the video okay um but like i said again when i was going toward houston trying to hit 610 and go down south missouri city it was a lot of headache it was traffic after traffic after traffic couldn't go where i needed to go um especially you know around 3 three thirty, you know, that's when traffic started really hit. So um, at the time I was very frustrated with traffic and trying to get there on time and deliver it. So I was in a rush. So I didn't able to get the footage of the offloading me. So I apologize for that. But there'll be more videos um, coming up, okay? Um, that's all I have right now. So I'm right at home. I'm just trying to relax, eat a little something to go shower and call it night. Thank you again for watching and stay tuned for more footage. Right? Peace.